Hey folks, it's Bob and I have a thought I would like to share with you. So this is coming from my deep thoughts. And when I got cancer, I immediately started building a bucket list of all these things I wanted to do. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to do was kind of start recording what I thought were deep thoughts for me, things that I wanted to pursue. And so I'm gonna share a whole bunch of those because I'm never gonna get around to writing a book on it, but maybe my colleagues will take all of this from all the videos for however long I release them and turn that into a book because that would be kind of cool. What do you think of when you see a door, a chair, and a wall? Have you ever thought about these standard things? I mean, a lot of people see them as purely functional things, right? It's a part of, I walk through doors, you know, walls hang, we have pictures hung on the wall, we sit in chairs. But my motto of my company is to think, learn, and work differently. And it's always about looking at something in a way that you don't expect to look at. And here's what I'm gonna say about that. I don't see a door, I don't see a wall, I don't see a chair. I see secrets. And I say that I see secrets because the door, the wall, and the chair, as is anything, imagine if all my dragons actually were like Toy Story and they could speak when I'm not around. The secrets they would tell you, some you don't wanna hear. <laughs> some would be hysterical. Um, but I see secrets and I wonder what those secrets are, what they would shed light on if in fact I could talk to them or somehow discern what those secrets are. Like, would that chair tell me that time that someone was trashing my cake when I was in the other room and they're in there complaining about it, all right? By the way, that's never happened. I'm an excellent baker. Just ask about my molasses ginger cake with creme fraiche and a plum compote. I'm just saying. It's awesome. But what about the secrets of the door and who's walked through it and the, sto the stories, the tales it could tell? So I'm always trying to put myself in the position of something else, whether it's an inanimate object or another person, because I know there are secrets to be told. And sometimes I can glean insights that I don't expect. Look around your office, look around your home. What secrets are there? Now, don't take this to the extreme and make it negative. This is about positive revelations and what you can do with it. And uh, even if you just imagine what the secret could be, maybe it's something really positive and knowing that you're very much loved by everyone that sat in that chair, everyone that's come to your door. I think that's a beautiful thing. So what do you see? 